I now want to talk about the difference between the Insert Bar and the Insert Menu in Dreamweaver. Since both of these use the word Insert in the name, it can be a bit confusing. So let me fill you in on the difference between the two. So first of all, I need to activate a page in Dreamweaver in order to have my panels available. So I'm going to click Create New HTML in the center column in the Welcome area or the Welcome screen within Dreamweaver, which is this green screen you're looking at. So I'll click Create New HTML. Now that I have a document open, I have active panels within Dreamweaver. So let's take a look at the difference between the Insert Menu and the Insert Bar. First of all, the Insert Bar is located up across the top of the Dreamweaver interface. And this Insert Bar has quite a few different tabs available within it. So here is the Forms tab. So these are all the different things you may want to insert into your web page if you're creating a form. So they're organized based on type of content. The Common tab offers the most common things that you will want to do on your pages. And that's where I tend to leave my Insert Bar most of the time. So the Insert Bar is categorized based on all these different tabs of related content you might want to insert into your page. Let's look at the Insert menu. And I get to that by clicking the word Insert up at the top of this document area. And notice I have Insert Image, Insert Media. Here is the form piece we took a look at and all the different form pieces. You will find that this Insert piece is not always identical to what's in the Insert Bar. And it's not always organized exactly the same as well. Here's an example. Notice I do not have a tab up here named HTML, but in my Insert menu, I do have an HTML area. And there's quite a few different pieces to it, as you can see. So these two are not identical areas, and I'll try and be very specific when I mention which area I want you to go to. Now Dreamweaver has usually a minimum of two ways to do the same task. And there are some instances, such as inserting an image, you can insert an image six different ways. So more than likely, you will find other ways to do things other than what I'm showing you. It's just a bit too extensive to show you all of them at the same time. But I'll be specific when I say insert bar, I'll always try and mention the tab to go to within the insert bar. And then I'll mention the word insert bar. Whereas if we're going to the Insert menu, there won't be a tab associated with it. It's just the drop-down menu right here. So those are the Insert menu and the Insert bar within Dreamweaver itself. And if you're not in the classic workspace, your Insert bar that's up across the top of your screen right now, if I move over to the Designer workspace, that Insert bar has been moved. Notice there's nothing above my document now. And these are the different tabs that are available in that insert bar. And I tend to find it's really hard to figure this one out if it's over here as a panel, since there's so many panels already, that I usually recommend when you're getting used to Dreamweaver, switch this to the classic, which is what we've done, and have your insert bar up across the top. That'll just make it so much easier for you to be able to see what's going on and where things are located, and you can view them a little bit easier. So that is the Insert Menu and the Insert Bar within Dreamweaver.